Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Hey, we're back at Hagenstadt, and we're going to do our mission. This is Field 13. So we'll click on this thing, and I don't know if I want to do it with this one or not. Although that is a wide swath. I'll just deal with that one. Well, you know this Massey Ferguson, that, that engine, it has a low kind of hum to it. Can you hear it? Kind of like a subwoofer. It's got like a whoa. I like it. The rest of them, you know, they just sound, you know, like a regular diesel engine, but this one kind of has that, that bass to it, you know. Alright. Let's get to Furt. Fertilizing. I think I can come out wider. Yep. So yeah, we'll fert this field and then we'll buy it and let it grow and harvest it later. Got canola in it. It's a nice size field. We got the money. We're gonna have a little more money here in a minute. This is always the tricky part, trying to find where you have and have not fertilized. It's hard to tell with the grass, not the grass, the uh, crop grown in there. Can't do that. I was gonna shut it off, but I hit the wrong button. Oh, you can hear that thunder rumbling. Still, th still thunder rumbling in the background there. In case you guys haven't guessed it, I usually record these back to back. So, spoiler alert. This is somewhat working. I can actually kind of see it a little bit. Might as well just keep the camera like this. I wonder if I can shut this off and turn faster. Yeah, buddy. Need to get over. Thought this thing was 26. Thought this thing was uh, 26 meters, like the big one. You know, these were Amazons in 15. Now they're uh, brittle. Brittle. be getting close. That little strip over there, maybe just half of it and we'll have it. Oh, there's the power lines. <laughs> you can see the power lines from the, uh, this is, uh, this is the drone view. We got a drone above us. and come back around. All right. Oh, we got it. All right, well, we didn't make a lot of money. I wasn't expecting to. But we can buy it now because it is fertilized. Soil composition field 13, yep, fertilized. So we can buy it now. I actually brought the price down a little bit. It's ours, so when that gets done growing, we'll come harvest it. Just hope I don't forget about it. Let's get back in my handy dandy tail handler. All right. You know what? We got ninety-five thousand dollars left. What are the fields we got? Anything ready? You know, actually, I'm looking at field. Eight. It's, it's right up there by nine. It's got barley in it. It's ready to harvest. I'm turn my light back on. And I haven't finished my canola harvest yet. I got to get back to that. 
But we got $95,000. I just wonder how much it cost. I can't remember. Oh, you know what? I can just pull over to the side here and not drive all the way down there. Because we have this new Star Trek feature where you can just teleport down to it. Let's see. How do I... There we go. Visit. I'm there. Huh? Ah, that was easy. Let's see. 88,000. Hey, we can afford it. Is it fertilized, though? Um, how do you do this? There we go. I bet it's not. Nope, it's not. Do we want it for that? And not fertilized? Hmm. Well, no, not really. I'd rather get one that's... If you can get one that's light green, we can get our fertilizer thing that we have back at the homestead. Let's see if I still got it down there. Where's my truck at? I can just run from here. It does us good to get out and run. Look at all this canola. This is going to go for canola cooking oil and for those little cans of Pam that you spray in the uh, frying pans and for sun chips and uh, some select uh, potato chips. They use some canola oil sometimes. Um, what else does it go for? Canola oil. Maybe some beauty products. I don't know. I don't know. Do they use that stuff and that kind of stuff? I know they use it a lot for cooking. Cooking canola oil. Alright, we're getting down here. We're getting down here. Jump, 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 jump. And jump off the retaining wall. So yeah, I still see it. I see the lid of it down there. So yeah. We still got our fertilizing rig here. So basically, when you look at the wheels on this, these destroy the crop. I hate it, but they do. So if we're going to get a field, we need to get one that's light green. Uh, well, really light green. So I'm looking... fruit types there's not really a lot to buy right now so five is in potatoes it's a light green one that might be in our price range they're 29 maybe it's in soybeans let's go down to 29 I bet it's less than eight See, yep, here it is. It's in soybeans. 67,000, and it's ready for a FERT mission. Question is, do we want it? Where are we? It's got a shed, too. Another little building that's pointless. It's got a creek that runs by it. How far is it away? It's just up the road from 26 and 27. Could buy this one. You know what? We'll do it. We'll buy it. It's got soybeans in it and it's ready for a FERT mission. So we'll do the FERT mission on it. I wish I could run faster. Alright. Uh, don't want to buy it just yet. I want to do the FERT mission. Do we have options on the FERT mission? It's not looking like it. Looks like it's either the small solid or the orange Amazon sprayer. Well, we want the sprayer. What tractor do we want with it? Well, they all they got is small tractors. There's a Deutz. We hadn't driven a Deutz since 15. Let's go with that. So let's start that mission. Hadn't driven a Deutz in a, like I said, a long time. Not since 15. This is the, uh, this is the tractor that you started out with on, uh, 
on uh, well 15 yeah from simulator 15 I don't know how wide it is all right we'll get this fertilized and then we'll come harvest it later too like I said it's just right up the road from uh, 26 there see you can even see our fields from here see the canola back there that's ready to harvest just right up the road and it's right by the garden center not sure if that's a uh, big deal or not but might be nice if we want to go to the garden center sometime is there a sale point at the garden center? yeah there's a sale point for something isn't it? yeah that's a sale point what will we take to the garden center? I'll have to check it after we get done so is the doit still the same inside? yeah looks pretty much pretty much the same I don't know the dash looks a little different maybe looks like it's got a few more buttons on there all in all it looks pretty much the same the old Deutz far pretty reliable little tractor you got upgrade options. They now have uh, three versions of the Deutz Far, I think, in here now. You can get this one. This is the uh, the old one, older version. You can get a smaller, newer version and a bigger, newer version. Like a mid-range and a top-end. Alright, haven't even made two laps and I'm already three quarters of the way done. make this entire pass right here yep last pass guys whoa that thunder's rumbling I may have to cut this video short I don't know, I've got what uh, maybe six seven minutes left all right three thousand got a sixteen hundred dollar time bonus so that's not bad we're making a little more money hey we got a hundred and one thousand in there now so are there any other fields we can buy <laughs> I can't keep money guys Growth, uh, let's see. What's 34 in? Corn, eh. I think all the rest of them are pretty much grown. Could get field four. Looks like it's just, uh, Maybe in its second stage. I don't know. I, I still think it would ride the crop down. It needs to be in that first stage, and that one looks like it's in the second stage. So we'll pass on that. We'll get back to our harvest here. Let me take this back down to the shop. Or not the shop. The, uh, the farm. So we bought field 13 in this episode and field 29. Oh no, we didn't buy it. I gotta go back. <laughs> I forgot to buy it. So we don't have all that extra money. Let me park this and we'll head back down there. I sure thought I bought that.
All right, uh, let's uh, use the uh, Star Trek teleport. Uh, what do you call it? What do you call that? The transporter. Boom, there we are. Beam me up, Scotty. Let's see. I need to buy it. Hey, what's that field in back there? Barley, never mind. I thought it was something cool. Buy it. All right, now we don't have money. We're down to $35,000. So beam me down, beam me somewhere, Scotty. All right, we beam to our truck here. Let's go to our combine. All right, we'll continue on with our harvest here. And just because I've got 22,000 liters, I'm gonna go put it in the truck. So now we own field 29 and 13. Expanding the farm here, guys. That's the name of the game. Run down the crop. We want to get that. I've learned to stay out away from the truck. Sometimes you have to lift it up to get it to go in. And this has a nozzle. You can adjust the nozzle. Go straighter or up. I don't think you can do that on a metal tech. A small auger wagon. You can't adjust that. All right, well, we'll continue, like I said, this harvest and uh, get it done, and I'll probably plant something else next time. I've done soybeans enough. We got soybeans in 29 and in 9 that I need to go get. Um, we'll get all this canola in, and I may have to buy another silo. If I have to buy another silo, um, you know, I just have to buy another silo. I don't know where I'm going to get the money for it, but I may have to sell some crop um, in order to fit that in there. Or I can store some of the extra in that truck over there until we get ready to to sell it. But prices right now, like I said, I sold the soybeans and the price kind of tanked out on it a little bit. I'll wait for it to go back up. Um, it's not too bad of a price on the canola right now, but uh, barley's down, wheat is trying to come up. So I had to uh, I had to wait and see. Had to watch uh, watch that price down there on canola and see if it goes any higher down at the uh, grain elevator. All right, so we'll just continue harvesting here and bring in the canola. Until next time, guys. Remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. I'll see you guys later.